weekends. video but lots of things have happened since my last video um, I met my first friend I guess you could call it via the blog um, Marisol I'm sure I'm slaughtering her name right now and she's screaming inside but anyway she contacted me that she lived in the Denver area she's into fashion she was looking for somebody else you know that was into fashion too since she's going to med school and we met up at the mall and we had a great day of shopping. She's a really cool girl and I'm excited to hang out with her again. And I guess it was an experience I haven't had for a while because I'm always shopping online. So actually being at the mall and seeing the things in person, it was a different experience. And first we hit up the Saks because the Saks in Denver is going out of business. So I said, let's meet in the shoe department, of course. And she's in the shoes too. Um, and we both got the same pair of Jimmy Choo Beeline um, sandals, which were really beautiful. And I also got a different pair of shoes there. And everything was marked like on sale and then there was an extra 10% off. So that was really good. And then she knew that Neiman Marcus also was having a sale. So I guess Neiman Marcus and Saks had all this merchandise that had come in from other stores. And Marisol just happened to inform me of that. So that was very nice of her. And at Neiman Marcus, we ended up buying a few more things, and she found a really cute pair of Christian Louboutin um, leopard, leopard booties with the peep toe and lace up. They were really super cute. They're similar to the pair I got, except I have them in flannel. And also, I found this Millie skirt that I'm wearing. Um, I happened to see this. It was like on the rack and I noticed it right away because it really was very Chanel-esque um, with the chains and the tweed and as you know I have my Millie Poodle sweater that was my first um, Millie item that I ever purchased and this is my second I just really love this skirt as soon as I saw it I was like I have to take this back to the dressing room and try it on and I paired it with this Merc by Marc Jacobs tank top that I got off Shop Pop couple years ago probably but I haven't worn it very much it's really nice it's cashmere and it's also sort of Chanel-esque almost with this uh, gold kind of it almost looks like quilting the whole outfit was sort of inspired by Chanel and then I'm wearing um, Prada Mary Jane sandals I'm guilty of getting these shoes in the maroon color and the leopard pony hair but I think my boyfriend just figured that out right now as he's videotaping this, so maybe that wasn't a good idea to mention. But anyway, I love these shoes. They're really comfortable. Prada, you can't go wrong. Anyway, I hope that I'll meet other people um, via the blogging world. Drop me an email, whatever. Um, I had a great time with Marisol, and I hope I see her again and she can tell me how to pronounce her name. Anyway, bye for now. Hi guys, it's Jackie from Fashion Snake. And right now in Denver, we are enjoying, um, I guess you could call it Indian summer in January. <laughs> I don't know what's going on, but it's been around 69 degrees yesterday, and today it's about 65. So we've really been enjoying the sun. And one thing that we did do yesterday that not many people can do, I guess, unless you live in California or Florida, somewhere warm, we went on a mountain bike ride in January. And there was some snow in the grass around the trail and stuff like that, but for the most part, it was pretty muddy. We came home, we had mud all over ourselves, and I sort of liked that. It seemed really rugged and stuff. And we went 20 miles. There weren't many other bikers out there, but there were a few, and it felt really good. And unfortunately, next week it's going to get down to 10 degrees again, but that's the nice thing about Colorado. I'll be pulling out all my big heavy coats and faux furs and such. Um, today I'm wearing, since it's been so nice, this um, Alexander Wang sort of athletic dress. Sort of like, looks like it has a sports bra built in or something. I don't know, I really like it. It's really cool. And it has a 
zipper on the side. And I'm wearing it with capri tights from Express. I notice a lot of people don't wear capri tights anymore, but I really like them, especially with certain shoes, like these Fendi ballerina ones. So I'm sort of mixing a little bit of black swan ballerina with some athletic kind of stuff, because that's the mood I've been in. Summer, biking, what better mix, right? Anyway, I'll talk to you later, and as always, you can follow me on Twitter, and I hope you enjoy all my videos. Hi guys, it's Jackie from Fashion Snake, and today I'm going to give out some styling tips. Um, I'm not a fashion expert by any means. Um, I basically run the blog Fashion Snake, and I show you how I wear items from my closet, including shoes and clothing, and a lot of it's designer from Shopbox. And I do my best with it, and I like to share it with people. Um, what when I find I can't think of something to wear, the easiest thing I come back to is the little black dress. Um, most of the time when you wear the little black dress, you usually just put it on by itself with some heels and some jewelry and that might be the easiest way to wear it. But if you want to spice things up and add some color besides just having leopard print shoes with the little black dress, you can grab, maybe you have a Navajo print cardigan. As you know, I have plenty of those. That's a thing you can throw over it to make it more casual, or even just to spice it up, it's got a print. Or you can get something like this. Um, this is from Winter Kate, um, Nicole Ritchie's line. And it's sort of this velvet burnout silk, and it's colorful, it adds a lot of color to this otherwise um, little black dress. And actually the one I'm wearing is by Only Hearts, and it's a slip. But I think slip dresses work. You can wear them as dresses when you just add this. And it adds a little sex appeal, but still keeps you covered. Um, and then the next thing is probably adding maybe like black knee-high socks or black tights. And I'm wearing clogs to make it more casual yet again. But some people might insist on wearing heels. And that's good. You can make it a little dressy and throw on some jewelry. Anyway, if you have nothing to wear, throw on your black tights, throw on a little black dress, and then a print sweater or boho sort of cardigan that's open without any buttons, and you're set. I'll talk to you later on Twitter. Bye. from Fashion Snag and today I'm going to talk about layering and how fashion bloggers do it. Um, fashion bloggers seem to make layering look pretty easy but this winter is my first time really experimenting with it a lot and it's harder than it looks because of the fit of the clothes. Um, for instance this Brooks Brothers shirt I put this on first um, and then I layered this Vanessa Bruno gray sweater over it and I was holding onto the cuffs of my Brooks Brothers shirt while I was pulling on the Vanessa Bruno one. And it was a little bit of a struggle but I did it. So it's always good to buy your sweaters maybe a little looser I'm starting to think because during the winter you have to layer. And then over those two items I layered this limited leather jacket. If you can believe it I got this probably nine years ago at the limited and it says on the tag made in italy i couldn't believe it i was like i wonder if the limited still makes things in italy but i highly doubt it but i remember i got it on clearance like after work i went in there and it was really marked down and now i'm really glad i have it things like leather they never go out anyway that's already three items that i layered on top and then i threw um this deep in vogue vera faux fur scarf on over top. It almost looks like a sweater vest when you hold it like this. And it actually keeps you really warm. 
and that was my fourth layer. So everything fit, but it feels a little constricting, you know. We make it look easy, but I don't know how you manage to go about in all these layers all day, but it is keeping me warm. And I wore suede leggings on the bottom. They're maroon color. I saw these pop up on Forward Forward on a Friday night. Of course, I was home. And <laughs> and I saw these pop up and it said they were like $240 on Forward Forward. And I was like, that price must be a mistake. So then I used a 20% off code, so I got even more off and I bought them right away. And I swear, as soon as I checked out, they were like completely sold out. And I know I'm saying like a lot, but it's just pretty amazing. And then these are the Alaya suede boots with braided leather detailing. These were my biggest Christmas present for my boyfriend this year. He gets me a lot of a lot of little items for Christmas. So I got these and a couple of the pairs of shoes from him. Shoes are my favorite. I don't think the Netta Porter site did a good job of photograph uh, photographing these. Mm. I found them on a different website and they looked a lot nicer, this boutique, so I knew I wanted them and I sort of hinted around a little bit. So he doesn't always pick out everything, I give him little hints like, oh, I would really like this for Christmas maybe. But it helps him out, you gotta help him out a little bit. Anyway, a lesson in layering and it's harder than it looks, but it sure keeps you warm. I probably need gloves too, but otherwise I'm toasty. So I'll talk to you later on Twitter. Bye. Hi guys, it's Jacqueline from Fashion Snake. And in this video, I'm gonna talk a little bit about sample sites. In particular, the ones that you should avoid. Um, I had an experience recently with Billion Dollar Babes. Their website is billiondollarbabes.com and they're a sample sales site. Um, they have really alluring sales like Chanel vintage jewelry, which I've never bought because I don't really know. How do you know if it's really Chanel or just fake, so. But one time I did place an order with them to give them a try. Um, they had a bunch of stuff by um, Torn by Ronnie Cobo, or Cabo, however you say his name. Anyway, Shop Up carries a lot of his stuff. He has a lot of shirts and tops with animal prints and different Aztec motifs. Um, so I placed an order for about four or five things and it totaled $132. I placed the order in August, like at the beginning of August, and I waited around, I didn't get my order, and I didn't get my order, so I kept checking on it, and it said it was back ordered on their website. So then finally I called them, and I was like, well, when is this order gonna come? Have you charged my credit card for it? And they said, no, we don't charge your credit card until items have shipped, and if items were on back order, and they would be shipping soon. So then I checked, you know, a week later and it had a date for when the items were supposed to ship. So then I forgot about it probably until like the beginning of November when a package arrived from them and it contained one of the tank tops, just one of the five items I ordered. And it was this leopard print tank. I haven't worn it yet on the blog. But anyway, that came. So then I checked on the rest of them and it said they were still back ordered. So I'm like, okay, I'll probably have to wait another three months to get the rest of this stuff. So time passed, and I was wondering what happened to the rest of the order, and I checked in December, and it said that the rest of it had been canceled, and they hadn't even sent me an email or anything. So apparently when they have these sales, what you should know is they don't really have the merchandise in stock at, at the time. They sort of rely on the manufacturer to send it out, and out of the five items I ordered, I only got one and it took three months. And they canceled the order and the rest of it without telling me. Now it doesn't really, really bother me, but it sort of does because some of the same items were on shop up on sale. And I didn't get them because I already had this order placed with Billion Dollar Babe. So I lost out on those items and I could have gotten them. So just beware, Billion Dollar Babes is not a good site. So don't order from them unless you're willing to wait three months or have part of your order canceled. If you want your items for sure, Gilp's pretty good and so is Hot Look. Or Hope Look. Anyway, what I'm wearing today, trying to wear all my sequin stuff around the holidays and after the holidays, 
Um, I'm wearing this Karen Zambos Vintage Couture uh, sequin dress with ruffles on the bottom. I bought this a while ago from some store in the UK because it was really discounted and I really liked it. I think it's cute. I dressed it down with a green military trench by Elizabeth and James. I really like this one, especially how it lays the hemline. I like um, sequins with green, with the military green color for some reason. That's all I want to pull with my sequins lately. And then I wore up for shoes, my favorite shoes of all time, Balmain fringe ankle boots. I love these shoes. Um, I try to save them, but I know that things get old even if you don't wear them. So you might as well wear them, but they're my favorite shoes, probably because they look like, I don't know, I like the fringe on them and they're like not and they're about me, what's not, what's not to love? Anyway, that's what I'm wearing today and a little warning about the sample sites. So I'll talk to you later on Twitter, bye. Hi guys, it's Jackie from Fashion Snake with another edition of What Am I Wearing Today? Today I am wearing a leather dress. Um, some of you that read the blog might have noticed I'm really into leather skirts, leather shorts. And recently, I've also gotten into leather dresses. Um, about a week ago on the blog, I wore a Vince sleeveless brown leather dress. It was really cute, and it was a brand new item that showed up. And it looked sort of vintage -y. Well, I was perusing the Guilt website, and I saw they were having a literature noir sale. Well, I don't have anything by that brand, but I thought I'd give it a look. And I did, and I saw this black leather dress. It's got perforations in it and a zipper down the back. And it came with a nifty slip lining. Sometimes they don't come with that, so I'm glad this one did. Anyway, I'm really impressed with it as soon as I pulled it out of the box. The leather is really buttery soft and I think these perforations really, you know, soften up the look. And to spice it up a little bit, I wore my YSL Pony hair leopard ankle boots. You've seen these before on the blog. Really like these because they look like real oscillate prints. I don't know if I said that right, but if I didn't, only 10% watched the video, so. Anyway, I'll talk to you later on Twitter. Bye. Do you ever have one of those days where you just can't find anything to wear? Well, I have those days a lot, believe it or not. Um, sometimes I just try on a bunch of things and nothing seems to look or feel right on me. So my foolproof outfit that I usually fall back on is a full skirt um, that emphasizes the waist and then a tighter um, top to sort of contrast with the fuller skirt on the bottom black ankle boots. Um, in this outfit I'm wearing a Koba and Tee um, sort of salt and pepperish top that I almost didn't think would go with this skirt. But then when I put them on together they looked really good. Um, so now you just have to try and experiment with things. And I got this off Guilt Views, which is now defunct. It's not around anymore, but when it was I got it off there. And this is an Alice and Olivia full lace skirt. I got this off Guild Group and I really like it. It's just the right length too. It's short. It's not too long, so your legs are still gonna look pretty long even though the skirt's full. I wish they made all the full skirts this exact length because it's perfect. And then I'm wearing my Fendi um, black pony hair ankle boots. 
I actually never saw these online, but I got them at the Fendi Boutique in Aspen. And I'm really glad I did. Um, because I I didn't know. I thought maybe they'd show up online and I should wait around, or maybe they wouldn't. They couldn't really tell me. So I just bought them on the spot and I really like them because they have the Fendi symbol in gold in the front. And then they have the pony hair with the leather. Even my boyfriend's getting sick of all my pony hair shoes, but I can't help it. I just really like that style. And I like ankle boots because they always fit and they're easy to put on with the zipper in the back. Anyway, when you have nothing to wear, grab a full skirt, um, a fitted top, some black tights, and some black ankle boots, and you're pretty much set. Hi guys, it's Jackie from Fashion Snake, and I'm going to talk about what I'm wearing once again. Today I'm wearing a really cool outfit that I like, it's really comfortable and casual. Um, basically it's lace shorts and a gray sweater, but I have been looking forever for black lace shorts to no avail for quite a while, and then I was on Revolve Clothing and I saw they had some black lace retro looking shorts. See how they're retro right here? And then they have pockets and a drawstring. And they're by Rory Becca. Um, they have a silk lining. They were $95 and then I had a 15% off code. But I was really dying for black lace shirts and I couldn't find them anywhere. And of course, whenever that happens a few months later, I see a bunch of things, like I'll see like five more pairs of black lace shorts pop up. But anyway, these fulfill the need for now. I paired them with this cane um, gray sweater. It's got thumb holes. This is from Shopbop, 70% off section. Really soft, not itchy. The sleeves and the arms are a little tight, so that might be why it ended up there, but they're not too tight for me. Got pretty long arms. This is an Avon vintage necklace. And I know your favorite part is always the shoes. These are Miu Miu satin platform pumps. They've got a really cool design in the front that I think will get to your leg. And I have worn these outside. Most of my shoes I have worn outside. I get that question a lot. But I am very careful. For instance, I don't wear them if it's raining, if there's a lot of snow on the ground, I find a different pair to wear. Or I have backup ballet flats in my bag. And I'm very careful I'm not stumbling around and such. Anyway, that's what I'm wearing today. I hope you like it. A little more casual outfit. And I'll talk to you later. Hello, it's Jackie from Fashion Snake again. And I'm going to talk about my outfit. Today I'm wearing a rag and bone sweater. It's really fuzzy. It's got these really delicate white hairs that sort of rise out from the sweater, which I think makes it look really cool. This sweater came in many different versions. Um, there was a longer version and also a gray version. This one they call the green version, even though I don't see much green in it. But this one is the cropped one. I got it off Shop Up on sale. And if you like fair isle patterns and such, you'd really like this one. The only downside to it is it sheds a little bit, but I love it and it's not itchy on me. I'm wearing it with a black high-waisted skirt by Paige Black Label. I believe I got this off of Hot Look during the sale. I find that Paige Black Label makes really thick knits that are sturdy. And that's what I like about this skirt. And it has some seaming along the sides and the back, which I really like. And I like that it's tight, but it's not too tight, where if you're going out to eat, you'll feel like, oh, I shouldn't have worn this skirt, right? And then I'm wearing Fendi suede and mesh wedges. I've worn these before on the blog. I bought them off the outnet. I've worn them once before with tights and a lace dress, and then I wore them another time um, 
without tights and with some tweed shorts. So they're pretty cool because they have like this mirror black thing on the wedge which looks unique. I remember these came in a few different um, colors. There was one that was black and white and then there was also a version that had plastic. But I don't, if you've been a long time collector of shoes, you know that when you get the plastic shoes that have any, even though it looks cool and see-through, eventually that part yellows. So I try not to get those kind of shoes even if they seem really cute because I know they won't last forever. Oh, and I'm wearing my Avon Vintage necklace again that I got off eBay. So this is a different sort of look. Instead of layering a longer shirt underneath this crop sweater, which I find can sometimes, you know, make me look bigger than I am. So I don't, I like to sort of show my shape if I can instead of hiding it sometimes. And that's why I decided to pair it with the high-waisted skirt with nothing underneath except for my trusty T by Alexander Wang bra. I think it looks pretty cool that way. It's unexpected. I don't know, maybe it's 280s, but I like it. So, another video, another day. I'll talk to you on Twitter. Bye. Hi guys, it's Jackie from Fashion Snag, and today I'm modeling a few spring looks including the look today, which consists of a wild fox couture crop top. This top has sort of a slanted hem to it. It's raw, which I really love, and it's extra soft. If you've ever had wild fox couture tees, you probably know that. They're well worth the price. And I'm a sucker for anything with a cat or an animal on it, so this one was definitely had to be in my closet. And I'm wearing it with a vintage cuff bracelet. This one I got off eBay. It's got some turquoise blue stones. I really love this color. And like I said, when I do vintage, I usually only do vintage jewelry, not clothing. This will never smell bad, so. And it's really cute. And I paired it with this Pleasure Doing Business five band mini skirt in charcoal gray that Karina from TeaLeafClothing.com sent me. I really love these Pleasure Doing Business skirts. They're a really good price, and you get all the sort of sucking in action that you want from the higher price skirts that are available, but at a much lower price. Kristen Cavallari and many other celebrities have been seen rocking these around town, so Get one while you can in gray. I really like gray as an alternative to black as well. And then for shoes, I am wearing my favorite, Camilla Scope Guard with a saw platform. These I snagged off the element and they have been seen on Gwyneth Paltrow. I saw pictures of her wearing them and I always like to see how they're modeled on different people, see them on somebody's feet to get an idea of how they look. And these are extra cute. Easy to walk in and they got the buckle. They're edgy, but at the same time they're not overly sexy because they got that tassel. And that is my outfit. So I'm ready for spring and I'm trying out spring outfits now to prepare for my trip to Vegas. Anyway, I'll talk to you later on Twitter. Bye.